Well, also out of the Capitol, House members passed the Reproductive Health Act. The bill removes restrictions on abortions in Illinois, and it comes after other states made moves to nearly ban abortions. WCI3's Gabrielle Franklin is live in our Capitol Newsroom. So how did both sides handle the debate today? Well, Jennifer, there was passionate debate on each side of the aisle from those who are for the bill calling for the right for women to choose, while those who are against it calling for clarity of the bill's language. There have been tons of questions about what this bill means for Illinois and abortions in the state. The main sponsor, Kelly Cassidy, said the intent behind the bill is to treat abortion just as any other form of health care and give women the right to continue the pregnancy or not. Members against the bill asked for clarity about women seeking abortions late into their pregnancies, while those for it said that the rhetoric about women using the bill to get late-term abortions are a myth. This bill is not about keeping abortion legal in Illinois. This is about a massive expansion that will impact viable babies. And that is wrong. I would ask you all to please vote no. This bill has been characterized as extreme. This is a scare tactic that is being used by the opposition to rationalize and justify criminalizing access to abortion in our state. Now lawmakers say women and their health care providers have to be trusted to make a safe choice between birth or termination during the stages of the pregnancy. Now House Speaker Michael Madigan is also back in the bill. He says by passing the Reproductive Health Act, we ensure women's health will always be a fundamental right here in Illinois. Governor Pritzker is also supporting the measure as it heads to the Senate. Jennifer. Thank you so much, Gabrielle.